All right, looks like we, we got uh, this one here to do, which is right next door to one I've done not too long ago. 24, this is 25. Apparently they talk to each other. Usually that's the way it works. And I'm getting a text, and I um, think that is somebody that wants to see if... Yep. Uh, wants to know if I'm going to get his today. That makes three I'm going to try to get to done today. <clears throat> Let's see. That one here is the double I need to use. And then I need to get this one. River 25. River 25. Get a box. everything in it. Let's see. Get the air cube. Add in there. And let's, let's get CPE up on the pole, which probably have to go get another pole because I only got two and I'm going to try knock out three today. Woo. Try to get it all done before the weekend. I like to relax too. Let's see what we can do. Let out of Oop. Come back here. get this mounted all right we got the uh, CPE uh, here on the pole and now we need to put an end on this end of the uh, wire to run into the box so let's get that actually on here Mount the pole. to get the laptop and see if we can get some uh, internet all right time to lock it up get this one done one's in there all oh, nice and tidy there they're supposed to be getting 25 
30, 29, 30. If it's be getting 25. Of course, I'm standing here next to it, but we're going to test it a little further away. Still get 31. Still not dropping. Like two up. Let's do another one. Start over. See what it does around the corner here. Supposed to be getting 25. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. They're getting twenty-six, twenty-seven. On the other side of the RV, twenty-nine. See what the final is. This is all the way on the counter corner of where the RV is, so it's going through the RV and all. It's supposed to be twenty-five and two. As you can see, that's the RV, and it's on behind it on the other side. We're getting twenty-nine point two one and two point three two. And be sure we're actually on their Wi-Fi. Let's see, post B lot 25, river 25. We are on there. We got them internet. Let's give them the password and move on to the next one. Got two more to do. You got internet. Really? It's done. I appreciate that. <laughs> Heck yeah. How about this? this yeah, I just I doing baked potatoes the other day, and the microwave died. I'm gonna have to get another microwave. Uh oh. I think it's a I said I, I just had to get one about three months ago. I huh. put something in there, it looked fine. I put it in there, and timer went, and all. I got in, opened it up, and I'm like, <laughs> TV dinner still got <laughs> ice on it. Yeah. I'm like, mm, something ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why, that's why I take two corners if we need to be here. So I got to run a hamster to get a pocket button. Yeah, and I was hungry when that sucker wasn't working too. <laughs> All right, we got that one done. Now, go back to the RV and get the dish so we can actually do this one. Throw this one in the trash. And get another one in because we got another 5 gigahertz that we got to put in. But let's get them the password and move on to the next one. All right, we got that one done. Now we'll go back to RV and program another CPE. And uh, I think I got the air cube already programmed. That's for. That's the one I've already got programmed. i got to program another one because the one I do have programmed, they won't be here until tomorrow. So I can get this one done and try to get the one that's going to be here Friday, try to get it late this afternoon or Friday morning. Well, I can't do it Friday morning because daughter has a 8.30 doctor's appointment and the kind of appointment she has is going to take a few hours so maybe I can get there tomorrow afternoon if I can't get it today I'm trying to get it all done so I can have my own weekend but let's go program this one and, and uh, get this one installed didn't record much on the last one because the owner was of the RV was actually chit-chatting which I love having you know that's what I like about doing this kind of stuff and he's a previous client last year he moved out and then he came back to a different part when he came back this time it's quite cloudy today and it's got to be good 10 15 mile an hour winds so it's keeping it nice and cool so let's go program this one now that I have at least according to my text message that I have internet at my own RV they've been working on their lines all morning when I got here like 6 15 there was a spectrum bucket truck 
up in the air working on some lines and they've been working on it ever since they said it's going to be resolved by 7 then resolved by 9 then resolved by 11:30. and the next text I got says it has been restored and I don't know if it's because they had an issue or they had to disconnect something to connect this RV park because it's right in the corner and they are digging something in the RV park itself over here and I don't know if that has anything to do with it they're just trying to put a like a connection so they can feed this RV park from that line I don't know I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not I didn't see any anything where they were actually trying to get a line from one side of the road or the other I don't know but either way the bucket truck is not there and hopefully that means the internet is back on so I can program a lot easier and get out here and get this one connected so let's do it Let's go get this second one installed. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the third one because I don't have an outdoor box. I'm waiting for some boxes to come in. They're supposed to be here today. If they are, then I might be able to get the third one done today after I go pick up daughter and get her to the house to come back we will see let's see how this actually plays out well, let's go get this one done got the pole got the box got the router CPE should be ready to go on this one let's see if I forgot anything get this one pole off of here get a CPE attached to it get it up connect trying to see where the AP is I do believe it's right on the other side of that tree in that direction where I got other CPEs pointing Oh, somebody got a Starlink over there. Guess they won't be asking for service. That's quite all right. It's not for everybody. It's the one that wants it and has no other options to get a good price. We can get this one done and installed and go pick up the daughter which is right around the corner basically all right we got a uh, CPE mounted up there now let's get a box mounted get the wires in it get it plugged in if we can get this one some internet
Good me. Make sure it's not pinching a wire behind the box. It's the last thing I need. They need to fix this pole, I'm telling you that. Holes. Boy. Definitely needs to uh, be driven in the ground or something because it's definitely loose. But it's beyond our responsibility. So now let's get some devices in here. Plugged in there. Some PoE. And power. So good today. Glad I got it. Compared to hot weather we've been having around here. Whew. Take it all day long. Yeah, okay. Just like that. Now I know why I use double-sided stick tape and I don't have it today. I forgot to pick up some when I picked up the tire, uh, the poles. Makes it so much easier. I don't have to hold everything. Put something in, hold it, and put something else in, hold it at the same time. and it just makes it so much easier. But it's not impossible to do it this way. It does make it more difficult, more challenging. Got it, PoE, got the router in. Let's see if we can reroute that into that slot there. Make it a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So we can get this around here. If we have power. Do we have power? POE has power. Okay. Wrap a little bit of tape around here. Hold that in place. I think I've got a good line. We'll find out when I log into it and come back and put this lock on. Lay that lock right up there like that. Let's see. Should be able to reach it out here on the laptop. These two done. All right, let's see if we can get this up and running. 
to uh, set up there now. This wind is just brutal. I'm on the laptop off of this. This, this stand here. Let's see if we can get in here and get this actually. Let's see which one they were. I don't remember. I want to say this one. Where are they at? Let's see. Is this the right one? The address is what I need. And yeah, this is it. We'll go in here and activate this today. Got their package. Start the invoices tomorrow, the first full day. go back and get to network and put it in their account. Let's go see the equipment that is showing up. Should be two devices. We'll go there and we say assign to Gonna look for there we are it should move them over to their account then we'll go to this webs uh, RV park and look them up there they are right there I do believe that was the name to disconnect while it, while it moves the CPE and the router to their account then reconnect after programs it for the speed that they have so that's what I'm waiting on for it to show back up be sure we're still connected to that one yeah. and you see up here it says UPS server is unavailable I'm just waiting for it to be available Please check your internet connection. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it. It's still connected to the router, but it says no internet. I'm just waiting for it to come up and say connected. Connect back to it. Check your network requirement. Secure. It's all coming back. down now that it's programmed by the software 25 down 29 30 31 yeah, we got 31 out of it of course now we're sitting right on top of the router but we got the speed to have. Lock it up. Lock it down. Let's see what it does. 
still don't like the way they just, you know, just pull. It definitely needs to be uh, redone or packed down there or something. I just don't have nothing to pack it with. Plus, I don't have the time. Plus, it's not my responsibility. But let's do another one as I walk away and see what we get as I walk out to the car. 24, 25, 24, 23, down to 22. Of course, now the RV is over there, and we're on the other side of the uh, RV from where the router is, and we're still getting two up. So it seems like the laptop is sending out a good signal back to the router. So let's do this again. It says 21. Let's see what we got. Way out here in the street. Five. You're getting five way out here. It's, you could park a city bus between here and the RV. Seems like, this lap, it seems like this laptop really sends out a signal because it's still getting the two up to that router 1.8 so it's doing pretty good one last one see what we get yeah we're doing good okay we are doing good well thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I'll see you in the next video if I don't get blown away. Because it's breezy out here, but it feels good.